Welcome to Mind Flare. Coming. God damn it. I got him. Oh. I suppose you're the new guy. Right. right. What time is it? Really that early, late? I don't. Listen, let me just throw on my shirt. I'll let you in. All right, come on. Yeah. So you're the rookie. All right. Well, I. I already have everything that I've already collected over time here, so. We just have to go over it, see our next steps. <sighs> yeah, pleasure meeting you, I guess. I'm, uh, Harf, or, uh, Lindolf. Nah, I don't really care about formality th that much, so you can just call me Harf. Anyways... Uh, how long you been at this job for? <sighs> Alright, just, just under a year. Okay, rookie, follow me. Uh, don't mind the mess, I don't get visitors often. Uh, tell me, is this your, uh, this your first murder case? <laughs> yeah, well, this one's pretty messy. We know there's murders, we found bodies, but, uh, a lot of just straight-up disappearances, too. Yeah. Heavy stuff, so, if you're not into it, I would let, I would just leave my house and let your supervisors know. Oh, you're all in, then. Good. I'd hate to have my new partner or whatever the hell you are <clears throat> end up having cold feet midway through an investigation. Yeah. Okay, so. I got a few maps here. A few pictures. Different things that went on. Okay, so if you look over here, um, each pin is where a disappearance was located. The red ones are where bodies were eventually discovered. Yeah, so uh, I tried to string them all together, and so far it doesn't seem to lead anywhere concise. It doesn't specifically mark themselves as a consistent trail. It seems that they're just picking locations, uh, all of them within the city, but not all of them are... all of them seem random. Right, right. You, uh, you know anything about this? Not sure if they, uh, not sure if they had this over at the station or not, but, yeah. They did? No, oh, well. Yeah, I don't really work much with the police themselves anyways. You know, they're the ones that do the action if I find anything, but we never get along. You 
Do what? Huh. You know what? I didn't notice that before, actually. Hold on. Let me, uh... Sorry. This map is huge, but... Let's see. No, you're right. Oh, shit. Wish I noticed that. Yeah, it seems that nearby every location, at least within a two-mile radius, there is an abandoned warehouse. Over there is Del Rey. And then there's the Grant Street, but... Hmm. I mean, I suppose it's worth checking out just in case, but it's not the biggest lead, but then again, we don't have much of a lead to begin with. I mean, most we got is just showing up after the fact if they report a smell, and then it turns out that there's a corpse rotting somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we might find some nasty shit if you end up being right, though. Yeah. Are you packing? Well, uh, I'd suggest you should. Just because we're not cops doesn't mean we're not going to run into trouble. In fact, we're probably going to see it before they do. They're just the cavalry, but we were on our own. All right. How about we check the most recent disappearance? It was uh, this one right over here. If we check it out over there, just drive up to that warehouse nearby. We uh, pull up a stop, look into it. And if there's anything that leads elsewhere, uh, I don't know. Maybe I won't regret taking someone else on. Look, for the record, it isn't you. I'm just not confident when it comes to tagging along with others. It's not my field. Right. Well, I'll drive there. Come on. And before we pull up there, I want to get some coffee. I'm still waking up. What? Listen, I'm only going to be on my best work if I'm actually awake, so I'm going to grab a coffee. Come on, it won't take long. Alright. <clears throat> Do you want one? Alright. <laughs> Suddenly I'm buying, and then all of a sudden you're all in on it. Yeah, yeah. Come on. All right, we're here. <sighs> ah. All right. Rookie, what's your, what's your angle on this? You know, this entire case. I was informed that you were looking in on it before you came over to me. And I'm on the same platform, I guess. Yeah. It seems organized. Like, uh... Like people are working together. I, uh... I'm assuming it's uh, human trafficking. People being kidnapped and whoever they end up not wanting after all, they probably kill and then throw around somewhere. Yeah, I've, uh, like I said, I found a few bodies related to this case. Guess they may have a process that they filter people through, and if they don't, they don't hit the check marks. 
they're gone. Yeah, it's uh, it's fucked. Okay. <clears throat> okay, listen. I'm keeping my gun with me, okay? Yes. And I'd recommend you buy one too. <laughs> We're going up against potential human traffickers, alright? Do you really want to join them? Do you really want to join the people that have gone missing? Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, at least take a knife. But for now, I'm keeping this on me. Don't worry, I'm not going to be waving it around. I'm going to tuck it where they can't see it. Okay. We could be finding something serious in this warehouse. We could be finding nothing. But I suppose there's only one way to find out. Just stay close to me. I'll take a good look inside. And after that, assuming we don't find anything too big, we'll take whatever evidence we can, head back to your place. Got it? Okay, let's make our move. empty. Just check your corners just in case if something decides to come out, but I'm starting to look alone. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't see anything. Might have been a dead end after all. <sighs> Worth the try, I guess, but I don't know. This place looks like it hasn't been touched in at least a year. Find? Found a switch. Okay. We'll give it a pull. Let's not waste any time. Let's see what happens. Oh, shit. Okay. A hidden compartment on the floor. That's that's normal. I'll go first. I got the gun. Stick behind me. God, it's tucked down here. Hope you aren't too claustrophobic. Some sort of transport tunnel? I mean... It's not super efficient, they aren't going to be bringing cargo down here, but I could imagine someone fitting down here. <clears throat> Hold on, Rook, I see a room up ahead. Yeah, come on. Ah. Oh, I did not need to be hunched over for that long. What the hell? Well, there's no one here, but... Look at those symbols on the wall. The 
hell was this? Looks like a fucking satanic ritual from a horror movie. Looks like he used some sort of black ink. Drew a bunch of symbols on the wall. I guess it's probably some language they use, probably, uh, to get around anyone else that might have found this. I'll take some pictures of this, hold on. There. <sighs> well, damn. I'll admit, that was a good find, Rookie. This place is fucked, though. I mean, clearly hasn't been used in a while. They just left whatever the hell this is. Alright, whatever. We we need to... We should get out of here. I don't, I don't know. I'm just starting to not feel comfortable. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Let's let's just go. <clears throat> uh, I think I got a few cobwebs in my hair. Oh god. Listen, I'll mark this address as uh, something to return to one day, maybe. Maybe uh, we can find out what it is. Okay. Um, how about we head back to your place? I've got the pictures. We can uh, try and look up what these symbols might mean. Maybe if they were used somewhere else before that somewhere online can tell us cross-reference, find out what it can mean. Alright. Good work. So far I'm not regretting getting partnered up with you. Yeah, we'll see. <sighs> In the meantime, you want to take the wheel? I'm, uh, I don't know, something in there just felt off. Yeah, took a bit out of me is all. I'll be fine, though. Probably just need more coffee. All right, I'll follow you. Let's head back. All right, so reverse image searching the symbols themselves don't pull up a lot. All I can really find is a few records at a local library documenting a, uh, I guess it's a religious phenomenon dating back to the 1200s. And uh, we don't exactly have a time machine. Damn. <laughs> it was a hell of a find, I'll have it I'll have the warehouse marked down as evidence for the rest of the agency to investigate. See if they can find any fingerprints and the like. Uh, maybe get some solid names attached to this case. But in the case that they don't, uh, we'd be back to square one. As for the religious symbols, I, I think it's maybe some kind of front. I doubt the traffickers actually are religious or anything like that. Maybe it's just iconography they're attached to. Maybe there's an off chance that this is like some crazy cult like Scientology, but somehow worse. <sighs> hmm. Hey, you, you want to try the library? 
the, the source that came up when we reverse searched it ended up uh, pulling up a local one. It seems to be uh, an author local to the area wrote a religious study book in 1992. And I guess it mentions this. Can't find an online copy though, so maybe we have to do it the old fashioned way. All right. Let's hope this book is still in stock and maybe add some more information about this ring. Found the book. Found the book. Um, the Notes and Religious History Within Maverick City by Morgan Taylor. It's kind of big, but most of it seems to be Catholic and Christian history. Um, ah, found the section we need. It's, um, seems like it's a short one. Oh, please add something good. <clears throat> During the 70s, construction within the Maverick City sewage system underground revealed a few ancient fragments that hint to a long-lost religion, referencing some symbolism that I have seen before. Paintings on the wall include various images of an eye surrounded by tendril-like appendages hovering over an orb which itself stands atop a towering obelisk. Well, that's exactly what we saw, so that's good news, or, or bad probably bad for us. <clears throat> I've located this symbol elsewhere in the world too, as well as attempting to document where it originates. This has proven difficult. The oldest recorded site of it was in Europe during the 1200s, then popping up all over Asia and Africa. However, when colonization of America began in the 1400s, it was discovered that this symbol was already there by the time Europe and Spain had arrived. By at least a couple hundred years. How or from what source is still unknown to this day. Perhaps it is Nordic in origin and was brought over by the Vikings. Or somehow it was the only other way around. Starting in America and spreading further out, we are left with merely theories. <laughs> be it just we really run the well dry i mean i mean i mean come on there has to be more somewhere this was god this was a brief history lesson but other than vague location spanning entire continents it gives us nothing i thought that maybe with the warehouse we had a lead for ourselves I, maybe a source on this <sighs> maybe i should have tempered my expectations i don't know you're right Maybe whoever the agency sends to the warehouse will dig up something, but I just want it. Wait. What's this? Was it? This wasn't there a second ago, the fuck? Did you just put this in the book just now? Okay, what the hell is this? It's, it's, it's a note. Yeah, duh, but read it. Meet me here, detectives. 2904 Broker Lane. You don't suppose that this was meant for another detective, or d detectives, plural, right? Fuck. Rook, I felt it back at that warehouse. The moment we entered that room, someone's... Someone's been watching us. I don't know how they assumed we'd be coming here, but how else would they know to jam the note in here? I, 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 did, I didn't see it before, but it, it had to have been there. I mean, I mean, I guess we could go there. It's our only lead now, but if it's dangerous, neither of us should be headed back there alone. I'll, I'll head back to my place and you call me if you need me, okay? And good work again, that was one hell of a find, but yeah.
Hey, hey, um, Rook, I... Sorry, I, I hope you weren't sleeping. I wanted to say sorry for leaving the library in a rush earlier. I, I, um, I, I didn't mean to leave you hanging. Any, anyways, I, I just... Uh, I, ju I just figured that after all of that, we uh, shouldn't be alone. So, so I, I figured I'd drop by. That was fine, just to crash here and to, and to sweeten the deal. Um, I don't want to just ask to crash at your place without something in exchange. No, no, I'm not scared. I, I, I just think that we should be better off working together, not alone. Whatever we found ourselves stuck in, being alone's the last thing we need, but <laughs> thank you for letting me stay. Let's crack open some cold ones and kill a night then. Alright, I'll be right behind you. Been a while since a job took me out of here. This place has got the best pancakes on the whole damn planet, though. Jobs might have been shitty, but this place made it all seem worth it. Every terrible story or bloody scene seemed to wash away with enough syrup and hot chocolate. <laughs> anyway, we're on. We're just a little while away from that address, and listen, I I don't know what to expect there, but I just wanted to say that I admit you're pretty damn good at your job. I know it isn't the most complicated thing so far, besides um maybe being watched, but you're a bit of a breath of fresh air compared to the things I've had to deal with in the past. You won't believe how backwards the agency has been with these cases. <laughs> In the meantime, I've been thinking of what's been going on. It was a slim chance, but maybe whoever's waiting for us at the address is waiting for someone to help off the record. I mean, it wouldn't be far-fetched. This isn't the sort of thing you would want to have go public, especially if you have evidence against a, a gang using freaky symbols like they do. I imagine if it was too public, they tried and snuff them out. I will admit that this is... definitely the most cryptic way I've seen it done. Whatever happened to blink twice if there's something wrong? <sighs> right. I might keep this quiet about that in here. Never know who's watching. Besides, if I felt this... this chill up my spine ever since we left the warehouse. Though, uh, I texted them a bit, and according to that, uh, our boys are at the warehouse right now, so... Maybe they'll get me back once they got something useful. Now let's pay our bill and get to this place, and maybe we'll get some real answers. And, uh, no, I, I haven't told the agency about this. I, I don't think we should. Not until we know what it is, and if this is someone who needs help, I want as little of a whisper of this going around as possible. We'll play it safe. We'll be on our own. But I'm armed, and I'll keep 911 on speed dial in case if things go south. Besides that, let's, um, I think that's it. Ready to get a move on? Alright, let's go. Yeah, 
god, this is the place. Um, Lorraine's abode. Fortune reading, historian extraordinaire. Did we just get invited to some circus escapee's apartment, or am I looking at this right? No, no, it doesn't seem dangerous, but I feel my dignity is going to be drained the longer I stand in there. <laughs> Whatever. Evidence is evidence. <sighs> Let's see what's in here. Take a statement, collect whatever we need, and see where it takes us. Hopefully a proper end to this investigation. No, she's blindfolded. Uh, ma'am? Oh, you're both here. Finally. I've been waiting for your arrival ever since you began digging into this. You know us? Or, or of us, at least. Uh, listen, if you're in any danger... I I'm in no more danger than you are now. Which is why I called on you. Because none of us are going to survive this alone. Uh, okay, so, um... So, so what's up? We, we can sit down. Uh, Rook can take the notepad. Uh, I can... I can ask you questions. We'll, we'll get to... We'll get this to the proper authorities, and then we can knock this out. That will not help, I am afraid. If the authorities cared, or weren't in on this to any extent, then this would have been put to rest a long time ago. I think you should have more faith in us. I do. And you too. You're brand new to this, and more important, you have reason as to not want to be a part of them, but we need to get on track. I am Lorraine. I figured. Um, I'm Detective Lindolph, and this is my partner. A pleasure. To you both, really. Coming out here on a whim is not the most trustworthy way of getting your attention, I know. But when I saw you both at the library, I figured it was best a chance to pull you both in as any. So you were at the library. When you dropped off that note, how did you... How do you even, you know, write with the, the, the blind? Yes, like... and no. I was there, in some sense. The same way I don't need my eyes to see. I have some, some reach through reality. It is tiring, but it can be done. Rook, I think we're being fucked with. <clears throat> All right, ma'am, let's, let's try again without the, the riddles this time. You do not feel inclined to believe me. I know. But ask any question you would like, and I will give you an honest answer. Whether you believe it is up to you. <laughs> okay. Fine, I'll, I'll play ball. How, how about you tell us what your connection is to all of this? Alright. Where to begin? About a year ago, I was pulled off the street in the middle of the night. I was taken somewhere placed on an altar. I didn't know what was happening, and... A cult had taken me. The same one you're dealing with. They wanted to sacrifice me. But somewhere along the way, it failed. Something inside me detonated. Alright, so we are dealing with religious zealots, and I I'm sorry, you said something detonated? Yes. A burst of energy. Shook the whole room. At the time, I did not understand what was happening, but given time, I realized I had tore a hole in reality and banished the man sacrificing me to a different realm. <sighs> what the fuck do you take us for? You really are some splinter of some fucking circus. I told you, detective. You may choose to believe me or not, but I ended up being chosen as a sacrifice due to my potential power. Power they could not properly wield after realizing how much was in me. Power I couldn't even handle without tearing a hole through the fabric of reality. 
Though now I tend to hold on to it much more efficiently. Alright, right, you know what? I want solid evidence. Not bullshit riddles or fairy tales about magic realms and superpowers. So you either give me something solid, or me and my partner are gonna quit, and we are- And what? Defer to your friends searching the warehouse? Mr. Lindolf? Rook? They aren't going to find anything. There is evidence there, sure, but it will be covered up, just as it always is. How did, How did you know about the warehouse team? I do not need eyes to see beyond my reach. I can even leave objects there if I have the energy, like your note. But how about I ask a question, Mr. Lindolf? One I know you know the answer to. What is it you seek from this? What are you getting at? I know what you seek. What you've lost. What you believe you can gain. And I'm sorry to say, but you will not find it here. And if you keep brute forcing your way through it as you have, it will spell your doom. Stop. There is no closure to be found like this. You can't bring him back. What you're up against is bigger than any of us now. I said stop. Harf, if you don't hear me out, you will not see the end of this case. And your, your gram will not- I said- Enough. Who... Who the hell... are you? I am exactly who I said I am, and I only wish to help. I need a smoke. I am sorry to have shaken either of you. Rook, he has taken a calling you? Of course. He will come around in time. It, it was unfortunately the only way I could see you that would, you know, get him to start believing me. Just give him a moment. Y you care about him, yes? Then watch his back. Because the path he's on right now will only lead him to his death. I will be here to talk more. I advise you to think on this. Just know that I'm your ally in this fight. I don't know how she... Fuck. I just need to breathe. No, no, it just wasn't just what she said. I, I, I don't know how to describe it. Like I, it was, I was flashing back in real time and she was with me for it. Fuck. Fuck it. Not a bullshit is getting to me. I I know we will have to come back to her. I just I just can't. Not right now. I can't now. Just please, let's let's just find some place to settle and get the hell out of here.
Hey, um, Rook, I just got a text message. Yeah, it says unknown number, but yeah, it's Lorraine. She just said to call her back whenever we're ready. Whatever that cryptic shit means. For now, I want to take a break, though. Yeah, if we've been at it non-stop since the warehouse, we should just have an... You know, an, 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 us, an us day. Yes, I... I do intend on visiting her with you again. No matter if she's as crazy as the religious cult we're up against, the fact of the matter is that people are being hurt by it. And it's our job to do everything we can in order to put an end to it. For now... What are we going to do on our little mental health day? Because at this rate I'd be happy to have anything but work. Even for just a little while. I guess we could try uh, catching a movie, though there's nothing out right now. Kind of a drought in the theaters around this time. A well, movie hangout is a classic offer. What sort of movie are you in the mood for? Uh, action, comedy, romance. Her? Really. After all the shit we're going through, horror is how you unwind. I'm not judging. I, I mean, I... I kind of get it. The more I think about it, I guess. Actually, you just gave me an idea. Yeah, how about, how about we try to... The drive-in theater. I'll pack a few drinks and we just park it out there. Listen to terrible acting over the radio and, uh big ol' screen way up ahead of us. We can recline the seats all the way back. Try and resist throwing cold water on the teens making out in the car next to us. You know, the usual stuff. <laughs> Alright. It's a date. I'll find something good and I'll buy our tickets. Really? you want to buy them? Alright, but I'll get our snacks then. Sour candy is probably healthier to wind down with than cigarettes anyways. Yesterday was just an exception. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Last night, Lorraine just It, it was too much, alright? Too too personal. I still don't know why or how she did it, but... It was a lot, and I... I can probably tell you more another time. When I don't feel like I'm burning out, but for now I, I just need to clear my mind. Right. Thank you. I'll get on our night then. Just uh, shoot me a text whenever you want to head out. You know, watching this with an older eye makes me uh, realize how wooden all the acting is. Fourth movie was totally better. Were you there when it came out? God, it was all anyone at my high school even talked about. Nowadays, it's all superheroes. Back in the day, just about anything was game in the movies. What do you mean I'm back in the day, you? Are you calling me old? 
I'll have you know that. I'm only fi Oh, shit, okay, I forgot about that part where his head pops like a cherry. Yikes. Still goofy, though, but just how much fun it was with friends at the time really made it all feel alive. <laughs> well, it's all still fun now with you. <laughs> I, uh... Hey, I just, I just wanted to thank you. Back there at Lorraine's being, being alone would have sucked. It was a lot. And somehow she, you know. But a while ago, this whole, this whole thing, the cult, gang, traffickers, whatever they are, they. They got someone close to me. Confirmed dead. Agency didn't really want me in the case, so... I figure that's why they sent you. If I insisted, I... Then I wouldn't be alone. It's, it's nothing you have to worry about, I just want to know everything I can for them, for the person they took. Thank you, Rook. It, uh, it really means a lot. You're, uh, you're a pretty good partner both in and outside this job. You know, if... if you want to see each other after this case is closed, I, uh... I wouldn't mind. Of course, I, I just, um... Oh, shit, um... Sorry, I, I... I didn't see your hand there. No, no, I, I don't mind. Do, um, do you mind? <laughs> All right, then, um, my hand's here for you. You're not doing this because you're afraid of the movie, are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. But... For, for real. Thank you, Brooke. We can get back on the road properly tomorrow.
Yes. All around the world. Some buried deep away, some with structures all around them, and that anything regarding reality, physics, whatever you know and feel safe with, you may as well just throw them away when you approach them. Because otherwise, none of it will make sense. In order to open these hearts, sacrifices must be made, and if all of them are open, something will come to Earth. And I have a feeling what that thing is. What's worse is, when I was walking, I could... I could feel something. He has this aura about him. He feels... Powerful. Potent. And once in a while I can feel that off of other people too. Except they didn't quite feel like it. And they didn't feel strong or powerful. They felt like food. I hate to even say it. I don't want to become some freak that wants to feed off of the essence of others, but that's what it felt like. I... God. What did it do to me? It's a personal way that the power to sit.
is it to restrain one person? Out of my way. Lorraine, you're through. Just give up. Use the knife, you damn idiot. We don't have to make this show out of this one. Just... <laughs> what are you doing? Wait. Wait, stop. So, how far is this place again? And does it really have what we need to put this uh, cult or whatever to rest? You know, bust them wide open. Just a few minutes away. And it will help give us an edge against them. A step in the right direction. Okay, that that's great and all, but Miss Lorraine, I, I don't think you understand that I totally want them out of the picture. Gone. Locked up with the key thrown away. That's Rook and I's job, not inconveniencing a cult. Then you will have to temper your ambition. This isn't going to be a normal cut-and-dry case. And like I said earlier, not everyone in your work's hierarchy is going to be eager to lock them up. I've been working against these people for years, undermining them from a distance. Do you realize just how abstract their work is? How deeply rooted everything they do is? Even if we wiped out every single one of them in this city, our work wouldn't be over. So what, this is all we can do? Go wherever this altar you were talking about is so that we can make the cult do a whoopsie? Listen. I know it is a simple identifier for you, but I wouldn't necessarily call this a cult. Or even a religion. Then what would you? Because so far they align with just about everything that comes to mind when you think of a cult. Maybe so. But we don't know how they really operate from the inside. Even I don't completely know. But a religion is... It's a foundational belief, driven by faith. In someone or something that may not have definitive proof of existence in the way we think of it. A cult is a twist of that, where someone, or a group of people, leverage that for their own gain. Okay, semantics. These people don't hit that definition, then? No. I wouldn't call this a cult. Because what they believe in is... It's terribly real. And I have the scars to prove it. Okay. Miss Lorraine- You can just call me Lori. Right. Lori, you're speaking all cryptic again. Right. Sorry, I've... I've spent a long time alone with these thoughts. Waiting for someone like you two to come around. I suppose this makes a lot more sense to me than it would to you. However, I get the sense that you, uh, still don't quite believe me. I can recognize that it doesn't really matter right now. But if you want to stop them all the same, and you say that what's at this altar will give us a clue on where to look next, I suppose we're on the same side. Of course. What's here may help you both understand anyways. Speaking of which, pull over here. This is it. The old Samson dock. This place has been out of commission for years. Nobody ever got to tearing it down. Now it's just a quick meeting spot for easy drug deals and God knows what's else. What sort of altar is in there? The kind I was brought to not too long ago. Now let's move. Alright. 
right behind you. Rook, you good to go? Good. Let's head inside and keep an eye out. I swear this woman has eyes on the back of her head, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, this place is giving me the same vibe as the warehouse. Lori? Why'd you stop? You alright? I'll be fine. Just... a lot of bad memories here. Coming here again makes me feel a bit... sick. But it must be done. What happened here exactly? Like I said, this place was once an altar. I was brought here to be sacrificed. Then something happened. They couldn't contain me. And in a panic, I managed to stop them. Banish some of those into an... another place. And they left this place soon after everything went south. But the knife is still here, in some sense. At least we can gather some fingerprints off of it, if it should come down to it. That won't be necessary. Should everything go as planned, we'll have what we need to end this. <laughs> what is... What is up with this room? I can... I can feel the, the static. I'm gonna shock someone if I touch them. When I was placed upon the altar, I was to be poured full of corruption. But... Unlike just about everyone who was put there, somehow I managed to bend that corruption to my will. Even if erratically. I sent the man who was sacrificing me and his knife to a space in between the cracks of reality. The knife still remains here. Though the man who sacrificed me this subsex leader moved on within that space. Wait, the, the knife is here? I don't see a knife. Or an altar, for that matter. Because I haven't pulled it back to reality yet. But I will do that now. Rook, get behind me. Lori, what are you doing? Doing exactly what I said I was doing. Here it is. The altar is now here. And the blade. No, 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 you're, you're playing with us now. It's spelled out rather clearly, Detective. Your partner seems to at least grasp that. But, uh, please grab the knife for me. And we'll bring it back to my shop. And there we can use it as a tether. To find the man who sacrificed me. And from there... He will tell us where to end what he started. Okay. Got it. And who is this man? What makes you think that someone who wanted to kill you would just spill the beans that easy? I, I've interrogated people before and assuming that you're doing it morally, that process could take weeks or months even. His name is Morgan. He used to be a researcher of sorts. Fell into this rabbit hole involving what he now worships. And now he's trapped. 
But I can force the information from his head. You're serious? How are you able to do any of this? I have told you again and again how. It's all a matter of you just believing me. All right. Let's take this back to the base then. Rook, do you want to hold it? This is, oh, this is all giving me a headache. Thank you. Good. Now follow me. This was only the first step, but I promise you that if you stick with me and don't let your own desires get in the way, this, this will all be done. And we can buy ourselves plenty of time before we make our next moves up against this group. Did she say she needed to rest? Yeah. yeah, it's been about two hours. I'm not sure if I want her to take her time or if we need to do whatever we need just to get this over with. I don't know, it's like the more we do with her, the less uncertain I feel. It's just this gut feeling. It shouldn't be this easy. It's like stumbling on a key to a door that's been locked for years, you know? There's got to be a catch. Her solving all of our problems here can't be that simple. Maybe. Once she's back here, I can ask why she hasn't done any of this herself. So far, she hasn't really needed us, not from what I can see. Can't say the, the same for myself, though. <sighs> I'm glad you're here with me, Rook. I don't know if I can mentally handle all this alone between this group and what happened with the dock and all that weird space bendy shit you ground me right right I just want these people stopped and I don't know apparently <clears throat> the higher ups aren't going to do anything about it so I guess it's up to us but I mean what can we do Guess we'll find out. We just need to make sure that whatever it is they're going for it doesn't happen. We gotta pay for it. For Lori, for... For Graham. Graham is... Um, He is who they took from me. Sorry if it feels like I've been holding out. I mean, I know you knew the vague details, but we just didn't get to talk much about it. But yeah, his name was Graham. One day he was just going to school and then he didn't come back home after an hour I called his friend's house to see if maybe he was there nothing so I am um, I called the cops and two days later they No, no, I'm fine. It's just... 
They found his body. No one was around, and they couldn't identify anything, but... It was him, he was bruised and stabbed, and God knows what else. And at this rate, I'll buy into all the magic stuff, and if it means he didn't die for nothing. Apologies for the wait. I wanted to make sure I was totally rested for what is to come. Uh, right. <sighs> of course, Lori. Um, we have the knife right here on the table, like you asked. Good. All right. Are you both rested as well? You'll want all the energy you can muster for this. I am. Yeah. How about you, Rook? All right. We're about as ready as we're going to get. Okay. So this knife was tied to Morgan. Stabbing someone with it would corrupt them and allow something from beyond reality to feed on their essence. However, like I explained, the ritual went wrong. I escaped. Now Morgan is trapped between reality and something else. However, with this knife, we can manifest our minds to that place while we use it as a tether to keep us here. So, what, like... Astral projecting sort of thing? Well, <laughs> yes, actually. In short, our bodies stay here while our minds go elsewhere for a little while. We ask Morgan about what we need, then we plan ahead. Alright, got it. In the meantime, Lori, I was meaning to ask, like, Rook and I were just talking about why exactly you needed us. You seem to know a lot about this, uh, and you have your weird powers. You may call it that, sure. Cool, yes, but why us? Why not do, do, why not do all this on your own? Well, quite honestly... If something went wrong and I had nobody to back me up, that'd be it. Everything I worked for, all the evidence and knowledge I've acquired would be lost. That, and for this specific step, I may not be able to slip into Morgan's the little realm on my own. Not without a struggle. Imagine trying to kick down a door. Doable, but a pain. Especially if Morgan's managed to build it up during our time apart. But with three of our boots at it? I see. Well, let's... Uh, let's do it. What are we gonna do? Hold hands and chant? Hold hands? Yes. That shouldn't be an alien concept between you two. W what? <laughs> Harf, Rook, join my hands. Shut your eyes and prepare. This is going to feel intense for a moment. Oh, this. Um. Why are we. No. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Are we? Right. Oh, oh, Jesus. Fuck, oh, Rook. Oh. Oh, oh, Rook, you okay? Oh. Oh, where the hell are we? Everything's... Oh. oh. I thought we were just being projected here. Why am... Why am I able to throw up in a projection? Oh my god. Everything's all misty here. Wait, there's... There's furniture. Wait, that's...
That's the, the altar. <laughs> yes. Found it myself. Don't bother reaching for a gun, you two. I know your bodies aren't here. Mine is only kind of here. But I can't hurt you and you can't hurt me. Even if your guns were brought here, they'd be useless. Are you? Yes, I am Morgan. And I know the witch has sent me here. I built a special little barrier for her. She'll be a little late to the party, but I suppose it's only delaying the inevitable. I spent years preparing to block her out. It's only gonna take a minute to do and do that. Shame, really. All that effort for nothing. I hope you you are ready to get a lot more familiar with that. Because all that sacrificing you've done, it's gonna wind up the same way. Worthless. I have no intentions of treating you like enemies, Mr. Al. Huff. And your precious little rook. Yes, I can taste your memories. Unpleasant little things. Well, mostly at least, but come, sit down. Let us talk before she arrives. What could you possibly tell us that isn't going to be pried straight from your mind? You're going to make your peace with your fucked up cause before we come and ruin it? Maybe. Maybe I want to think about what we could have done differently. Maybe I should have turned Laurie instead of offering her to the Great One. Instead, now I'm stuck here. Helpless, really. There's only one place I've left that I can really be around in a physical sense. And where's that? You'll find out soon enough. Not like I can hide it, but... You know. I thought maybe it was just the sensation of being around people for the first time. Lord only knows how long, but no one. And I feel something off of you, Mr. Huff. Your memories, you... You'd be a hell of a captain. You better watch what you say next. I mean it, Huff. Have you considered why we're doing this? It isn't because we're a bunch of crazed, child-murdering cultists like you might think. And I'm being genuine when I say we take no joy in that. Did, did you think we woke up one day and decided that we want to kill innocent people and children just for the fun of it? Then what do you do it for? What could possibly make any of this worth it? We're doing it because it's the only way to survive the inevitable. Beyond a reality is a force that has been aching to devour the world. So far, it's only been able to slip parts of itself through the cracks. You take those parts and become an extension of it. That's what happened to me. But, slowly over time, it's been eating up little bits of the world. One piece at a time, it's been making more people like me, and in turn, I feed it. Its powers can't eat me. I am it. It'd be like trying to bite your own fingers. You have no reason to do it. So long as we keep feeding it. It's been trying to break through the barrier, and when it finally breaks it, we'll be spared the great power. I swear to God, when I find you, I will... Rook. Right. This asshole will get his time. I just hope Lori makes it painful when she rips the info she needs right from your school. Not quite how that works, but take comfort in knowing that it won't stay, I suppose. Yeah. After this, maybe go to therapy. None of your thoughts on what any sane man should be thinking about doing to someone else. Rather gruesome imagination you have. 
What? Lori can too. She was blessed when she was good, whether she likes it or not. She can taste the trauma that radiates from your mind. The guilt. And I can taste it all the same. I can taste hers, I can taste Rook's. Shut up. Of what? We can't do anything to each other here other than monologue to death. You're about as helpless as you were with... Graham? Yes, Graham. I told you, you're helpless here. Oh, I will give you that. You held me off for a few minutes, Morgan. Well, that's a familiar face, even with the blindfold. Why do you wear that thing? Are you ashamed of his mark? What you have done to me is not something to be proud of. You know what we're here for, and you know what I'm about to do. Hmm. This is awfully different from the woman we dragged kicking and screaming and begging to the docks. I can tell you've come an awful long way. When will half will go? Rook will be. Will be doing fine. And you'll be six feet under. Harf, that's enough. As for you, Morgan, you are gonna tell us where in the city the heart of your Great One resides. Right to the point, then. Fine. I could tell you the whole truth, but I suppose you want to verify it anyways with your fingers sticking around in my mind. Correct. Now tell us. Where? Uh, it's in the sewers. Connected to them. Never shifted. All paths lead to the center. It's a glowing, violet sphere swirling with busy energy. That's where I am. Does it have any guardians? <laughs> yes. Technically, no. It's, it is just me. It's the one place I can be physically. I try to walk any further, it's like tearing myself apart. It's the only place I can defend, off. Oh. I probably won't be much good for it. I'm only a man. I see. Then I believe we have all that we need. We will be leaving now. That's all? Indeed. We will return back to the basement. And then we'll head to the sewers. And we'll end this. Best of luck. <clears throat> Consider what I said, Hoff. Fuck off. Come on, Rook. Let's get out of here. Back to the hotel. I can't believe that fucker would say that shit. God. I'll be alright. I just need to be away from Lori's shop or anyone. Anything regarding that, I just... I just wanted to be with you. He brought up my son. Like it was nothing. He's gonna pay. He's gonna hurt. Whatever he's working for, whatever a, a great one is, it's gonna crumble all around him. I'll make sure of it. Right. 
you, Rook. I know I shouldn't be saying these things or thinking them or... I don't know. We know where he's at now. Seem to imply that people with... Lori's power, or maybe even anyone, can just go into the sewers and then... Eventually, they'll find their way there, so... Suppose we'll... Uh, suppose we'll find him soon. Yeah. We know where he's at. And we'll find him. Right, we should... We should lay down. Thank you. Expecting you so soon? You sound disappointed. Didn't make your final hours count. Not much I can do with them down here at the void. Sitting next to the heart of the Great One. Bathing in his comfort as we await what is to come. I hope you don't expect a comfortable passing. I know. You are here to kill me. Sure. Oh, I'd expect your little Rook to be here, or Lorraine. I know at least she'd be the one most eager to send me off. Maybe she would be. But they don't have to see this. <laughs> of course, you're doing this for their sake, but... Tell me, Hoth. Do you know why you're even here? You and I both know why. Now, you can kick back and pray to this... giant sphere all you want. But it won't save you. You're so short-sighted for someone so gifted. No, detective, I mean quite literally why you're here. I only gave the most vague directions to take you here. You found your own way through these shifting corridors. Those more witty than you have lost themselves in these tunnels. Some are even still wandering to this day. Some still out, but some find their way. No, you found your way because you have a gift. One that would be quite shameful to waste. <laughs> Shut up! I'm putting an end to this right now. Your people took my son. <laughs> you damn near killed Lori. <laughs> and now, you're gonna watch it all fall apart. Uh, you know, uh, I feel for you. I really do. Uh, uh, nobody deserves to feel that pain. You're the worst part. <laughs> the people who killed your son, they're long gone. You will never see their faces. They were nobodies. No grand plans, no conspiracies beyond what you already know. <laughs> so you have to settle for me. I am sorry about your son, but this... You know it won't change anything. So come on. Find out the hard way that this won't do anything to bring him back. Make this quick. Quick? I don't think so.
rest, gathering the supplies we'll need for our trip, and give it a few more days before we're all set. What the hell is that, that orb doing? My life between worlds. And... Enough of the fucking riddles! What the hell did you do? Get back! They try to pull me out. It's just... ah! Damn it! This is my fault. I think killing Morgan opened it. I should have stayed. But look, listen, Rook. If this stays open, who knows what the hell is gonna come out of the other side? No! 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 Do not pull me away from here. Listen. This orbit is keeping the portal open, I think. Just... Ah! God. Uh. Take the pipe from the floor. Smash the spirit. 
I don't know if it'll work, but it's our one shot. Yes, yes, I might fall in with this thing, but hurry, I... I don't know if I'll survive, Rook. Rook, thank you. Thank you for everything, just... Please. Hurry. Rook. Thank you. I'm sorry, Rook. I really mean it. I know that you two were so close, and I swear I never expected him to just... just do that. I thought my warnings were enough. Harf has gone somewhere no living person has ever crossed and survived. I'm sorry, Rook. He did what nobody has been able to do. He helped destroy a heart of the Great One and shut the portal it created before he could breach it. But Harf's gone. I... Okay. Listen. Harf might not be dead yet, but... You have to understand, the place that he's in, he won't last long. He'll be corrupted and broken down until he's able to be fully devoured by the Great One himself. Like I just said, nobody has ever gone there and lived to tell the tale. And taking him back is not worth the risk. Rook, I, I can... Okay, look. I could open a portal using the leftover essence from the broken heart and Morgan's corpse. Two of them, actually. I, one could get you in and one could pull you out, but... <sighs> the risk would be that you're lost in that realm right along with him. And I can't sit by while that happens. Especially if by the time I have enough energy to do that, he might already be gone. What am I afraid of? I am not afraid, Rook. I am being logical. I even told Harf that his brashness would be his end. And as much as I hate it, that has come to fruition. All we can do now is not let that sacrifice be in vain and continue our work here. Rook, you... You are being unreasonable. These powers you're toying with, the ones I'm infused with, they're not for bending to your desires. I am not sending you to your death as well. Why do I care? Rook, I just don't want to be alone, okay? I'm tired of it. Ever since I took this on, I could barely act like myself, and you and Harf are the only people who could even remotely understand what we were going through. And now Harf is gone. I'm not losing you too. Maybe, maybe he would do the same for me. Damn it. Okay. Fine. 
Give me a day. It's going to take a lot out of me, but we'll head back down to the sewers. And if you're lost on the other side, then know that I am so sorry, but there is nothing else I could do for you. All right, just, just give me some time. We'll leave first thing in the morning. First, I will use the energy still radiating from Morgan's corpse to open the portal. You will enter the Great One's realm quickly, and it will shut behind you. Find Harf. I'll give you maybe 10-15 minutes before I open your exit portal. And if you don't come... We already went over that. You know what will happen. I can't say that I know what will be waiting for you on the other side, Rook. If Harf is alive... I don't know. I don't even know if he'll ever be the same again. But Rook... I'm still right behind you. Please, just... Take care of yourself. Because what's beyond here was never, ever meant to be seen by our eyes. It's me. Daddy's right here. What? Rook. R Rook, what are you doing? Here. Look. Rook, it's Grim. He's here. He's right here with me. Been here all along. I, I can. I can make it right. I won't leave him this time. Rook, we can. We can stay here. Listen to me. Graham is right here. He, you're here. This was. This was meant to be. Please. What corruption. Rook, no, I'm, I'm not leaving you. I can't. I care about you, I really do, but this place, it has all I need. I, I can't just turn away. Rook. No, this, this is grim. It has to be. Rook, you... You already let me go. You shouldn't have to do it again, but you have to. I, I can't go. I'm not letting go of him again. <sighs> what do you mean, my face? Rook, please. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't think I can leave him again. He'll be all alone like he... Like he was last time. God damn it. How am I supposed to do this? Just turn my back on him. Oh my god, Harf? 
quick. You have to get up here. We don't have time to wait. Lori. Is that... Is that you? Lori. Please, why? Why this? After everything, why is this happening to me? Haven't I been through enough? Arf. I want to go back with you, I really do, but this after everything. None of this is fucking fair. What did I... What did we do to, des to deserve whatever all this is? Arf. This isn't about what's fair. It never was. But if you come with us, you won't be alone. Please. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go drop lunch off at Lori's. I wasn't in the mood for leftovers, and I figured she'd appreciate not having to cook. Hey, I promise I'll be alright. Driving with one eye isn't so hard. I'm getting used to it. No, 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 you don't have to drive me again. I'll be fine, I, I promise. It's not like the eye's broken. I just have to... have to cover it. Is it getting better? Oh. <laughs> Listen, we can talk about it once I'm back. I, I saw Lori about it and... Uh, hey, hey! I'll be fine. I promise. Lori said, some of it will linger. It'll be like her, apparently. I can only hope that it doesn't mean that I start speaking in riddles. It, it looks concerning, but she wants me to see her every now and then. Learn how to take care of it. <laughs> you uh, want to see the eye. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Here. Oh. It's... It feels a bit odd. It's like I'm seeing the world through something else, but... Better? And I, I mean, it isn't exactly seeing either, like... Beneath the carpet over there. I can vaguely feel something beneath it. I think it's an... It's an ant or a, a spider. Something simple like that. It just lingers. I don't know why. Guess it's just how it is. starting to understand Lori a bit more retroactively, and I think that's the scariest part. <laughs> and I'll, I'll talk about it with her today. I promise I'll be alright, though.
Suppose I get why Lori wears her blindfold. If I saw this on someone else, I'd probably have too many questions to count, but... Yeah. I'll be okay. I'll see you later, okay? Alright. Just let me know if you need anything, Rook. You know, you can call me. See you. Hey everyone, thank you for listening. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, everything that helps. Mindflayer was a project that went on a little longer than I was expecting, just because there was a lot of stuff that I was busy with uh, that I had to knock out, which involved like moving and uh, like fixing up plot details that uh, set up things that will pay off uh, in the future. Wink. So, yeah. Uh, but definitely, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It's been a lot of, oh, sorry if you're honking outside, but it's been a lot of fun to write and set up. And uh, again, I have a lot of stuff planned for these characters in this setting, so do feel, uh, do, do expect more in the future. Other than that, uh, yeah, things are pretty chill over here. Uh, gonna continue working on any future projects. Uh, I have the upcoming one that I did art for on the stream. A while back but i also have potential ideas for another one we'll have to see how that turns out but yeah excuse me anyways uh that's all for now thank you for listening and i want to give a special thanks to the following patrons on the diplomat and higher tier len girl kitty 243 sammy samar alicia mystic chan clarabelle pagan aleswith adler s mg deborah bossard silverhawk eg Christopher Stevens, Christy Hall, Wendy Wayne, Miss Effie, Patrice Gilton, Helios Flame, K, Inspector Lemon, Mia Khan, GD, Wannabe Bunny Girl, Kurt Wilkes, Safadil, Ravioli Senpai, Outer, Freaky Flatwoods, Ray Brightskills, Zara, Roses in Blue, Mermaid Aurora, and Manda. Again, those are all my patrons on the Diplomat and Higher tier, and if you want to join them, feel free to uh, check out the Patreon link in the description below. Anyways, it's been a trip. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, look forward to more uh, in the future. Uh, there's a lot of aspects that have been set up in this first story that I cannot wait to explore more in depth later, but yeah. Uh, again, that's all for now. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.